How we process thoughts and what we think about our thinking is incredibly important to living a beautiful, strong, thriving life. In this episode, I wanna give you two questions to examine every thought that you have that will definitely turn unhealthy thinking into healthy thinking. My name is Mike Foster, and this is Strongest You. You want to hear an unbelievable fact? When I heard this, it, it blew my mind, but I, I'm like, yep, that's true. It's this simple idea that we have 12 to 60,000 thoughts a day. That's a lot of thinking. That's a lot of thoughts. And here's the problem that 80% of those thoughts are negative and 95% of those thoughts are repetitive. So what we do with our thinking, what we do with our thoughts is so key to building a strong life, to having a life that's free and thriving. So let's answer the question, what are thoughts? Well, I, I consider thoughts to be just little pieces of bits and information and images and data kind of floating all around in our brains. And, and the key is to make sure that, that we, we put the thoughts in the right places. We act on the thoughts that are positive, that are helpful, that are meant for our good and ignore and dismiss and let go of the thoughts that are unhelpful. You see, thoughts are, are like a fuse on a firecracker. If they're allowed to burn, they will produce a pop. They produce action. They produce beliefs. They produce values and choices that you make. So when, you're, when that fuse is lit and that thought is burning, man, you better make sure that it's the right thought. You may need to make sure it's a healthy thought, a redeeming thought. And yet so often our thinking is based in negativity. It's based in kind of shame. It's based in fear. And so what do strong people do with thoughts? Well, they do kind of three core things. Number one, they notice their thoughts. See, so often time we're just unaware. We're not paying attention to our thinking. We're not paying attention to those little bits and pieces of information and data swirling around. And we need to dial in. We need to bring our attention to some of our thoughts because a lot of our thoughts, again, are incredibly unhelpful. And so again, assessing, paying attention to those thoughts is incredibly important. Number two, so first we notice our thoughts. That's what strong people do. But we also assess the accuracy of our thoughts. See, not every thought that pops into your brain is true or valid or right. We have to assess whether this is accurate. We have to assess whether this thought is true. And that's what strong people do. They, they notice their thoughts and then they assess their thoughts. And then number three, they, they determine the helpfulness of this thought. You see, again, we have a lot of negativity bias. We have a lot of, neg our, our brains, our thoughts, our ideas are, are drawn to fear-based negative thinking. And so we have to be really, really good stewards and really, really precise to say like, is this thought helpful to my growth? That's a good question to ask yourself every time something pops into your brain. So a couple of days ago, I was sitting on my couch, kind of had a rough day, uh, feeling a little down, and a thought came into my head. And it's a thought that comes into my head a lot these days. And uh, it's not necessarily a great thought, but it's a thought that comes into my head. And it's this simple thought, eat chocolate. You see, chocolate, my brain's telling me that chocolate is the way for me to feel better. It's the way for me to, to solve all of my problems, to, to help me not feel so depressed or down right now, eat chocolate. Well, that thought honestly isn't really helpful because every time I eat chocolate, I usually eat too much chocolate and then I feel worse about myself. I, my body feels horrible with this sugar overload. And so that thought, I need to be aware of that thought and go like, is that thought actually helpful for my life? I mean, think about some of the thoughts that are coming into your brain these days. What are the things that you're thinking about? Are they helpful? Are you noticing them? Are you paying attention to them? You see, I think so often we fall into what I call these four dangerous thinking traps. 
and their, their beliefs and ideas that we have about our thoughts, but we have to be aware, aware of these traps. Otherwise, we're going to be sucked into eating a lot of chocolate. So uh, the first trap that we often fall into is that my thoughts are reality. See, we just, just say like, oh, uh, whatever I'm thinking, this is my reality. This must be true. We say what I think is real. But that's not always the case. We, we have to challenge that thinking. We have to challenge those thoughts of whether it's real fantasy, is it maybe based in fear, maybe based in worry and anxiety. We also have to look and say, like my thought, we often fall in the trap of my thoughts are important, that they deserve my full attention. We also sometimes fall into the trap of saying that my thoughts are orders, like they're little drill sergeants and that we have to obey them. Well, we don't. We get to choose. Uh, and the final trap that we fall into is that my thoughts are wise. We just assume that they know best, but they don't always. So let me give you a quick formula and two questions you need to ask yourself in order to have healthy thinking. So the formula looks like this. The thought comes in, and then we question and examine that thought. And here's the two questions I want you to ask every single time a thought uh, an idea enters into your brain. Number one, does this thought serve the person that I want to become? And number two, is this thought accurate and complete? Do I have all the information? Do I have all the, all the data? And after you ask yourself those two questions, then you can choose your response. So let me be really, really clear. How we think and what we think about is critical to living a strong and thriving life. And so taking this simple formula, the simple idea of number one, just assessing our thoughts, thinking about our thoughts, noticing our thoughts, not just sort of unconsciously obeying them like they're these little drill sergeants, not just assuming that whatever I think is true and whatever I think is my reality, but using this very simple formula of when a thought comes in, you ask yourself two questions. Does this thought help me become who I wanna become? And is this thought accurate and complete? You ask yourself those two questions, you're gonna have healthy thinking and your thoughts are gonna take you in the right direction. Thanks for joining us. I wanna make sure that you get Strongest You delivered to your inbox every single week. So make sure to sign up at strongestyou.org. You get uh, it delivered to your inbox. You get some bonus content. You want to be signed up. So head on over there. Plus, I ask you to, to take a moment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't miss this Sunday as we dive into Forever You. We'll see you next time.